G'day. Big yellow fin tuna, Sudan Bank, Mauritius. How good is that? Bye to Tipol. Yeah. Father soon to be. Yeah, father soon to be. We're putting them out already. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. Going for the afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon yeah. delight. Maybe, maybe morning. You think so? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we running here? So Islander Lou, favorite color, blue, yellow, and white. Some quite some bites on it, you can see it. <laughs> hey guys, Joey here. We finally made it. Yeah. We've traveled 8,000 kilometers from Melbourne, straight across the Indian Ocean. We're here in Mauritius. We're on board 5050. Incidentally, a 50 foot boat, custom made in Mauritius. And we're fishing on the Sudan bank. We've just left Albion um, in the uh, in the west coast of Mauritius, and we've already put the lines out. Uh, there might be some afternoon fish uh, on the bite for trolling. We're already over the continental shelf. It's only 500 metres away from the uh, pontoon where Club Med is. And then in the morning, we'll arrive on Sudan Bank, and we'll decide whether to jig or troll from there. But in the meantime, sit back and relax and we'll take you for a ride. We made it. Made it to Sudan Bank overnight. We're trolling today. And we're straight in. Woohoo! Look at that bend! That's a big one, huh? Yeah, it's very nice. Having an afternoon trolling session here on Sudan Bank. Jean Mare bagged a nice yellowfin before, about 30 kilos. 
We've just had the line absolutely scream off. Shane's hooked up. Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. It's just a wee one. No, it's not. Cheese. <laughs> 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 you sure you can just. Yeah. Good. Whoa! <laughs> Got to be a tuna. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Is nice. that your biggest yellowfin? Um, no, I've had bigger in South Africa. Wow. In Cape Town. Fantastic. That's a lovely Have fish. Have a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice fish. Beautiful. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Quickly it all. Well done. Okay. We're running four reels at the moment. We've got the uh, Islander Marlin Lures on the Tiagra 80s. And on the 250s, we've got uh, Halco Laser Pros. These yellowfin tuna cannot get enough of our Laser Pros. We've got one in a Dorado pattern, and the other one is, um, is, uh, is pretty much like our King Brown um, that, we, that we love using back in Melbourne. And yeah, they are just uh, munching them at the moment. We're gonna get a few more, I think, before sunset. Ooh. How's it feel to finally be here? Yeah, it went good. <laughs> I would sit down if I was you, huh? <coughs> I'm alright. Got fresh batteries. <laughs> what? Yeah, Why don't you go forward and put your knees on the gun on me to get some stability? I'm still. That was an absolute blinding, screaming run. I was just adjusting the camera and boy, it took off. Pierre Eve, stand up. He's doing us all proud back in Melbourne. <laughs> On his homemade harness out of kite surfing gear. Can you believe it? Oh, hey! Is that He's not done. Got him! Woo! Good one. Ready? Got him, buddy. 
Harness was not perfect, but yeah. That's all right. I mean, you can uh, make uh, adjustments for next time. Yeah, yeah sure. Too. That's a cool harness, scratch, though. Yeah. I can't believe you made that yeah. from the kite surf yeah. gear. Yeah. Yellow pink tuna. Pierre, Eve from Albion. <laughs> he did an all on stand up <laughs> tackle on his own harness. How good's that? Cheers. I'm just trying to get my head around some of the French sayings here. When the rod screams, there's been two significant calls. One's been cannon, which Pierre Eve tells me it's, you know, in French it means cannon. It's like cannon. Then the other thing they've been screaming is caca. As far as I know, caca is in the toilet. So it's either cannon or caca. So you'll see what that means in just a moment. Yep. Oh shit, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good one. Oh, it's still going. That was a huge run, and he's still going. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Man, I just lost a monster. Yeah, man, that was a monster. Did you see? <laughs> just... <laughs> it, every, everything's gone. It yeah. took everything. It might have been, it might have been a hundred pounder. Oh, I know, big tuna. Yeah. It just, uh, just kept going and going and going. I hope we get another chance. That's fishing. What we think happened on that last big tuna, Pierre-Yves hooked up and the trolling speed went down to half to get Pierre-Yves hooked up and onto his fish. Then on the other line, we just had the other Halco Laser Pro would have just been almost drifting there ever so slightly. And the tuna's come in and just grabbed at half speed and just ran with him. So either he swallowed it completely and the line's gone over his uh, teeth or just he wasn't hooked under uh, trolling tension from the boat so it's just a bit of bad luck unfortunately but um, I've got a good feeling about today um, there's, there's already been a lot of bites um, first up in the morning we've still got another 12 hours of fishing so yeah can't wait to show you the rest of what we get up to today
That's what I put his own. Nice wire is shine. finish to the morning we're on day two now we're going to do some jigging we had a nice dog tooth tuna on yesterday Pierre Eve lost it but we we'll hopefully get another chance at one today but how good is this <laughs> now, some of the boys on board prefer slow jigging and some of the other guys prefer fast jigging but what we got here Got here two 200 gram uh, jig here, and this is a fast jig. I prefer fast jigging, and uh, yeah, we'll drop it overboard. Hopefully, we can uh, get some dog tooth tuna, um, and maybe even a wahoo. But there's also some beautiful eating uh, coral fish uh, down here. We've got French names. I'm going to have to get schooled up on it, but there's some beautiful fish here. We're in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Anything's possible. So we'll show you how we go. C'était mon rosa. Happy man, happy. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you think, Yannick? What do you think? I think it's a... GT. GT? Oh! Oh, yeah. Well, those that come colour. It's silver. GT. Oh. Oh. No, no, I think it's a, I think it's a GT. GT. Oh. Oh. oh, look behind. GT. NZT. Oh. Wow. <laughs> hey, well done. Well done. That's an awesome fish. Well Fantastic. That Pascal's GT. What do you think? Oh yeah. Okay, time to go in the water. Okay, time to go in the water. Yep. Awesome. Let's go. Well Top. <laughs> All right, it's late afternoon on day two. We're just about to leave Sudan Bank and make our way back to Mauritius, 250 kilometers to our south. Uh, uh, the boys have just changed all the game tackle over to the 80 wides because the water's going to drop off from about 50 meters on the Sudan Bank over to 2,000 meters. So we've just got a couple of hours of sunlight before it gets to sunset and there might be a chance of picking up a marlin on our way back to Mauritius. So if we hook up, you'll be seeing in the next frame a marlin strike. But in the meantime, I'm just going to sit back and have a drink. I can't believe it, we're on our way back to Mauritius and our reels just screamed. The Tiagra 80 just howled and Shane's on a marlin. How's about that? It's almost sunset. Were you expecting that? No, not at all. <laughs> Come on, man, you don't do this all the time. Yeah. I that was a, but I was surprised all the time. Pow! Gano! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a way to end That's a two now. days. Of yeah, man. Amazing Perfect. Fishing. Perfect. Is it coming in yeah. easy? No, and again, it goes a bit slack. You know, huh? Yeah, this time, what is it? Okay, go. That's a wine. Oh, that's a wine. 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 I really thought it was going to be a marlin or something. We've got that. We need dangerous animal control again. Yeah, we have to kill it before entering the boat. That's a nice fish, but it's not what we were expecting. Okay, we're finally back in Mauritius after two days fishing on the Sudan bank. Had an amazing couple of days. We had fantastic captain, fantastic crew. I say a quick thank you. Hello. <laughs> Thanks How are very you? much. Welcome. Jean Pierre on 50 50. Albion Mauritius. Top. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> thank you very much. Really a great crew man. He's a very helpful on the water. We've got Julien as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. Yeah, thanks a lot. See you next time. Yes. Yeah. For bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely be back. I want to come back. Same brand on GT maybe next time. Whew.
back at the dock. We've unloaded all the fish. Nothing goes to waste here. All the fishmongers and the, the chefs of Mauritius have come to collect. Have a look at this.